Hello and welcome to BobbyMartinOnline.com. I'm Bobby Martin and today I'm going to show you how to set up a basic configuration on a Cisco switch. Now you're probably wondering what qualifies me to teach you. Well I was trained by the Marine Corps and then they sent me overseas and I did it in a combat zone. 12 to 15 hours a day I monitored a network and I did it while taking fire and I did it while everyone else was asleep. So with that let's go ahead and take a look at what's going to be required for us to actually do this today. Alright, what we're going to need to make this happen is going to be a PC with a USB or serial cable support, a Cisco switch or router. We're going to be using a switch today. It has to at least be a Catalyst 2950 with Ethernet ports on the front and a console port in the back. In addition, you're going to need a console cable with a DB9 connector and an RJ45 connector. You're going to need Ethernet cable. And if your computer is so modern that it doesn't have a serial port anymore because they are becoming outdated, you're going to need an adapter that goes from a DB9 serial port to USB. And then, of course, you're going to have to get the drivers for that adapter. So, that's everything we're going to need today to actually complete our project. So with that, Let's go ahead and begin the tutorial. Now the first thing that we're going to want to do is hook up our switch to the computer. So we're going to start with our console cable. We're going to plug that into the back of the console port on the Cisco switch. Bring that over here. See right here is the console port. Plug it right in. And we're good to go. Set that over there for the time being. Next thing we're going to do they take the DB9, the business end of our console cable, and we're going to connect that to the computer. Now, like I said, my computer doesn't have a serial port anymore, so what I'm going to have to do is use an adapter. So, take those, put them together, and unplug this into the USB port. Now, from there, all we're going to do is, uh, plug our Cisco device into the wall to give it power and we'll be good to go. We'll do that during the tutorial. Alright, we've got our hyperterminal program started up. We're going to give it a useful name like Cisco. We're going to press OK. We're going to go in on COM3 because that's where I'm connected. And we're going to restore defaults because those are the parameters we want. Press enter. And we'll be converted with the dialog. Of course, no, we don't want to because we're going to do it ourselves. And we're going to get started. First thing we do is type enable to get in. Now that we're in, we're going to go to the global config menu. And now we're going to give it a host name. So that way when it's on the network, we'll be able to tell which one it is. Hello Switch will be the name of our switch since Hello World is always the first program you make. And now we're going to give it some security. We're going to go to the console interface, just like that. And we're going to put a password on. Oop, password. We're going to call it keep out. And we're going to type the word login so that way it always has to log us in if we're going to go to reconsole in again. We're going to get out of that by pressing Control Z or typing end. We're going to go into the Ethernet ports uh, just as such. Configure terminal, get back in the global config. Line VTY 015. We're in the Ethernet ports now. We're going to put a password on them too. Remember, you would usually put a, a, a different password uh, on each one, but we're doing this for the sake of our demonstration log in again to make sure that we actually have to log in. Now we do this so that way we can actually log in when we go to remote over IP as soon as we have uh, we have our IP address set up. So we'll get out of that as well. And now we're going to set up one more password. It's called the secret password. It's going to be encrypted. So we're going to go back to the global config. We're going to type in enable secret keep out. And now we have a secret password <coughs> that is encrypted in our actual uh, configuration file. Next thing we want to do is go to the interface for our VLAN where we're going to set the IP address for every single uh, port on our switch and we are going to give it an IP address of something very simple 192.168.0.1 with a subnet of 248 because we only have a few boxes on our network and we're going to make sure it's not shut down by typing the word no shutdown that will actually turn it on we'll see here in a second it'll pop up and let us know see just like that set to up 
Uh, we're done there, so we'll get out of that. Back to the global config menu. Now we're going to interface into the actual port that we'll be using to IP into our computer, something that we can use to telnet into. So we're going to go to the first Ethernet port on our network. So we're going to interface fast Ethernet 01. We're now in the first port of our switch, and we're going to first turn that on, make sure it's turned on, and then we're going to set it to switch port mode access so we can actually use that port on that VLAN and then we're going to tell it access VLAN 1 even though that's the only one we have so we can actually use it. Now from here we should be able to tell it in. We're going to try that real quick after we connect up. Okay, now that we have our Cisco switch set up to actually be able to be remoted into, we're going to take our Ethernet cable and we're going to plug it into our computer. So this side is going to go to the back of my computer. And this side is going to go into the first port on our router, or excuse me, our switch. Now we're going to see the first link light on that switch light up. I'm going to bring it over here so you can see. It's amber at first, and then it turns green right afterwards as soon as it, uh, it sees the cable and actually performs the physical connection. And we're good. Now let's try to tell that in. Now that we're connected via our, our Ethernet cable, we're going to tell that in via IP. So we're going to give it a name this time. We'll create a new connection called Cisco IP, because that's the protocol we're going to be using. And then we're going to connect over TCP IP. And our settings are going to be the uh, address we gave it earlier. And now we're presented with a password over the, the Ethernet port that we set up before. We said it was keep out, so we're good. And now we're going to enable to get back in and password again, let's keep out and there we go, we are in. We can do anything over the network that we need to do. Uh, here, a couple commands that you probably need to do uh, and should know for your daily use. Uh, show running config to see the running configuration. Here we can see we, we named it hello switch. This is the secret password we put on that I said was going to be encrypted and it is. And we see we put switch port mode access for the first ethernet port, the one that we're connected on. And we can see the VLAN IP address set up and all the passwords we put on all the ways we can get into the switch, the console, the Ethernet, and once we get inside, the enable. So with that, um, one last thing you need to do is uh, write memory, and that will save it to the RAM, so that way if you shut the switch off, um, once you boot it back up, all it'll also be there. If you need to ever erase that, write erase will do that. And all those are noted in the documentation at the very end. So. Uh, please follow on. Hope you learned uh, something from this uh, tutorial. And I feel confident that if you follow the documentation and the tutorial, even though uh, we do things a little quickly in the network environment, that you can you can have a switch that um, you can have set up on a network within a couple minutes and be able to remotely access as long as uh, you have the IP scheme set up correctly with that respectful network. So uh, with that, thank you for your time, and uh, your comments are welcome.